Okay guys, I'm back with part 4, uh, 4C of my event editing tutorials, and hopefully I can get this to be the last one. I don't know, it might have to be a 4D, but whatever. So what we were trying to do is we were trying to find a song by it for a good song. Now what we're, um, uh, you know, you kind of want to have the song to fit the mood of the scenes. I think this scene should kind of be something like, uh, not tension. Tension's too, uh, quick. Um, not train noise. It's definitely not. Oh, let's do Magic Factory, which is 47. That that shouldn't be too bad. So fade in song. Oh, I should have mentioned this in my first one. Sorry, guys. But F1 is fade in song, and then the bite that follows is going to be the ID for that song. So, um, what was that again? Uh, 47. Yeah, 47. So F1 47. And if we go, now we're going to check the music to see if it's pretty good. Which then again, um, you won't be able to hear the music, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not even going to bother with that. Okay, so back in the event script, and that's just something that you should do. You know, music's always going to help out. Back in the event script, we edited this scene, and we pretty much made this uh, part right here show text, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of have, um, let me think. Yeah, we're going to edit the text back in FF3 USME, and we're going to have the b little boy sp speak. But before we do that, we're going to make him 4B23. Actually, this is it right here, okay? Remember that text that we just inputted? Now, this is where Locks action cue starts, and he does something. He, he goes down, yeah. We're going to make, we're going to replace this with the boy's action cue. And this is a good idea if you ever want to like replace stuff and you don't want someone to move, but you also don't want to FD it. You can replace the action cue and route, I guess you could say. So, the 8A is saying go down. We're going to make the little boy go down one tile, okay? I think one tile will be better. So, down one. i got to get this caps thing on. Down one tile, which is 82. So, 82. 11, 82. And then face right. Okay, that should be pretty good. Now, we're going to check out, check out and see what happens. And then we're going to go ahead and edit the text after that. And let's see if that song comes in, but you can't really hear it. Uh oh. Something's happening, guys. Yeah, uh, let me figure this out. This is not, it's not working. I don't know. I'm going to pause the video quick. I don't want to waste time. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, You guys remember whenever I inputted that new song, 47? Well, apparently the game thought I was actually inputting the high bite, so it froze. So, um, see, that's the kind of stuff that really makes event editing kind of tricky because stuff like. The hard coded things that have in this processor that's like if you put 4B and you have the ID and then you have 00 after, that means text box. That does not mean begin action to character 00. So, I mean, there's a lot of variables that you gotta eliminate, but I figured it out and I haven't really edited anything. But, um, what has been edited right here? Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, crap. I'm lost now. Okay, here it is. Yeah. Display text. That was that text where the guy's like, word locks like, um, hey lad, do you know where Narsha is? And then the text that follows is locks action cue. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit this, and we're going to make it the little boys, okay? And I've already gone and edited his, uh, the action key that followed, and made him go down one tile and face right, okay? So what should happen is, um, well, you'll see. Now, ignore the text that the little old man says, because we're fixing to edit that in FF3 USME, and now that I think about it, I probably should have already gone to do that. So here's Lot, and there he is. Hey, lad, do you know where Narsha is? And then the guy, the little boy's kind of mad. And then that little thing starts. And then, the, as you can see, this camera kind of goes down. So we can fix that up, guys. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Yeah, and if you're wondering why that boy dis disappeared, I'll tell you shortly. It's, a pretty, it's pretty simple, actually. But yeah, that's that. So that was pretty cool. You know, everything worked out pretty good except for when that subroutine called and the camera started moving, okay? Um, let me see. Which one's the one? Okay. Um, how goes the plob robbing and plundering trade? Set event bit, call subroutine. Okay, this is it right here. Also, uh, by the way, this call subroutine right here, guys, if you want to copy this, I believe this is it. Let me see. Yeah, this is it, I think. Um, let me make sure real quick. I don't want to give you the wrong information. Yeah, this is it right here. If you ever call the subroutine, which, like, you type B2 somewhere in the game, and then you call the subroutine right here that follows, and this is not the hexadecimal equivalent, so don't just type this in. But if you can find it somewhere in the ROM, and you type B2 somewhere, this will make the screen turn dark, okay? So that's a pretty cool subroutine to remember. But this right here, this is what we're going to edit the camera. Whenever the camera, the camera went down, so we don't want him to, we don't want the camera to go down. We want it to kind of center in on lock. So we're going to edit this action cue for the for the camera, just kind of like in part one. So 30, 04, and C1. Okay, so it's going to be an 81 then. Or, I mean 84, 84 C1. And I guess this is it. It looks kind of weird. Let me see real quick. No, I don't think this is it. No, this is not it. Okay, something didn't go right. Let me just go up one real quick. I know I can do this one. 38. 
C1, A1. Okay, so maybe maybe I just input it from the normal first time. I uh, probably did. O4, C1, A1. Okay, guys, this is very, very weird. Um, let's just do the easy thing then. 4B30, I know I can do this one. Can't screw this up. Just then again, I can screw screws up. Okay, this looks like it. Okay, here we go, guys. Right here, thirty-eight, thirty. That's what I entered. Okay, that is weird. Okay, I, I guess I know the I know what the answer to that is, guys. Um, you know how I tell you guys to go up the two lines? Well, if you're just absolutely positive that something's just not working, you might need to go up a few extra lines because after all, this method it works about ninety-five percent of the time, but the other five percent is always still a possibility. But whatever, because I know I inputted this right. But anyways, it's set in the camera speed. It's saying begin action trip for character thirty, which is always going to be the camera. And then four bytes long. C1 set the speed to slow, and A1 is going to be the diagonal thing to go right down, left, right down, yeah, whatever. So um, right here, this is the action cube. We're going to replace it, and we're just going to make it go left. We're going to make it go right up, actually, because that's kind of what it needs to do. So right slash up, uh, one times one. That's going to be A0, 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 and then that should work, I guess. If not, you know, whatever. I'm not like worried about the camera really. I mean, everything still works. I'm probably gonna make a decent enough save after all this. Here we go. Hey lad, do you want my shade? Just didn't want that text right there. And there's the camera. It kind of pans in. Pretty good. That'll work for right now. I mean, if you really wanted to make it, if you were making a real hack, you know, you'd probably make that perfect. But whatever. And if you're wondering why the kid disappeared, I'm gonna tell you real quick right now. So right here, um, not right here. When this um thing comes up, okay, there is a command going right here saying hide object eleven. You know how that song starts playing, lock song starts playing, and then the screen gets dark, and then it shows, and then everything goes away except for lock. It the forty two command. The forty two command is very useful if you ever want to like make someone disappear from the map when they walk away. And the 42 command will hide an object. It follows with the ID of the object that you want to hide or the character, okay? So the 42 command, we're going to make it hides on the boy, which we want to keep that actually. We want to keep that. But whenever it comes back, okay, it, it, it has to bring him back and it has to set his position back to where he was, okay? That's how the game stores. I hope that makes sense. You know, they, they erased him, they made him where he doesn't appear, and then they got to create him again. And where they create him is right here 3D create object 11. They're creating the boy again, or the old man, which they thought they were creating. So they're creating him again, and then they're beginning an action cue for him, and they're setting his position back to where he was whenever he disappeared, and that black screen came up, okay? So we're going to go to this action cue, and we're going to set him back to where he was. Now, at first things first, we need to get a general idea of where he was whenever he walked down. We're going to try to figure out what the highlight is. Right there, okay. Well, no, he moved. Okay, about, like, right... I can't point to the cast, but yeah. It, I, I know where it's at on the level editor, okay? It's about right here, okay? Uh, 13 or 11. So let's first go to the action view, and let's copy this. My computer's lagging, I don't know why. 1186 D5. 1186 D5. Okay, this is it. I think. I no, I don't think this is it. Nope, this is not it, guys. Okay, now I hate when this kind of stuff happens, but we'll figure it out. Uh, let's just do this then. C2, C, D, F, F, 41, 11. Okay, this is guaranteed to work. Okay, 1186, this is it. Positive. Okay, so this is the action key that's setting him back to where he was. And we already found the coordinates, which I forgot now. <laughs> uh, right here, I think this is where he stepped. 1311. So let's go back into the uh, converter and type in 13. And let's check time. Okay, we're getting there. I hope not, though. 0D. Zero 0D. Zero and... Come on, we don't got happens. 1311, so 0 D, and now 11. 11 was the last one. That's going to be B. So let's type in B. Wait, see, that's the kind of errors that make stuff jack up. Okay, so go back in that level editor, and we're going to input. See, I have the worst memory, guys. 0 D, 0 B. I think I remember that. 0 B, 0 D. I think that's what it was. It was a 0 D, 0 B. Okay, that is pretty bad, guys. That is that is very bad. I'm saying yeah, I am sick, so whatever. Okay, so if all goes right, um, this time whenever this sequence comes back, we'll have him back where he was. If a little kid said that to me, dude, I'll punch him up. I'll knock him off my cliff.
So if all goes right, he should appear back where he was. And there he is, guys. I prefer... Okay, um, I gotta pause the video real quick, guys, okay? Okay, okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Here we go. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Ha, semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference. Anyway, were you the one who sent for me? Yeah, I should go on that. Yeah, the game is froze. I'll tell you why. Um, the original action cube probably made that little boy walk forward. So yeah, he, you, you'll have to find those kind of things and fix them. I mean, those come up a lot of times. So we're going to go ahead and find all that. And let's see, that show an object. And then I have a restore screen from Faye. That's a good command if you ever do use a subroutine. We're going to follow up with that. And I think that subroutine makes the screen look normal. I'm not sure. Begin action cue for character 01, turn and left, and yeah. And then begin, okay, down. Okay, here's one of those B0 commands four times. Begin action cue. So this is all going to go four times, okay? Begin, do vehicle graphical action. Okay, well, th this command right here is not going to execute because he's on circle mode, so that's not going to happen at all. And surprisingly, the game actually just skipped over all that, I think. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, this is right here. This is where it froze. Right here. It's saying left two tiles, and we were already, like, on the kid. Like, literally on the kid, so we need to fix that. 84, C3, 87. And this looks like it. 92, 4B. Yep, this is it. Okay. Let me make sure real quick. Okay, yeah, this is it. Okay. So, um, we're just gonna empty this entire command, okay? No, we're, we're no, we're, I, don't, I got an idea. We're gonna make the boy kinda walk away, like, really slow. We're gonna make his speed to slow. And left two tiles, that'll work. And then we'll set up. Okay, that'll work perfectly. I didn't have to edit much of the time. And if all goes well, it should not freeze where we were just at. That kind of stuff's understandable, though. That's better than it freezing from inputting a song. I mean, it's pretty. That's kind of stuff's annoying. Lock. And then. Not perfect. Anywhere you want to send the media. Yeah. Our independence, blah blah blah. <laughs> he died. <laughs> okay, that's the graphical actions error. It's most like most NPCs cannot do graphical actions. So yeah. I mean, that scene would, could work, I mean, as it is, but I'm not really going to do the entire thing, but what you could do, you could go into FF3 SME, and you would edit that text, and you'd be like, um, you can make the boy, you'd make it where Lox tries to bribe the boy to tell him where Narsha is, the boy refuses and walks left, and he's like, I'll tell you, but you must pay me, and stuff like that. So, I mean, that kind of stuff would work out, guys, and you just change the text up, maybe patch a few action cues here and there, or just make it your own thing, and then that's, that's pretty much it, guys, I mean, that's event editing at a glance. I mean, that, that scene did pretty good to me. I mean, I'm not going to edit the entire thing because that will really just make this video long. So, um, I hope you enjoyed these tutorials, guys. And, um, yeah, uh, this is me signing out.